Well, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardinal's Cauldron, a production of Geektopia Island. And here, we actually got a request deck for you here. Uh, he wanted to see my take on red-green monsters. And it's a weird little take. Of course, there's some <laughs> staples you have to have, plus, you know, monsters. You have yeah. to have different types of creatures out there to do it. And because of that, they're called this deck's called Monster Squad. They're coming together, hopefully beat that ass. Squad up. Yep. Squad up. And when I think of red-green, I think big. I'm getting as big as we kind of can here yeah. with red green monsters in standard. <laughs> For as little cost as we possibly yeah, as can. as little cost as, as we can. Alright. And we have 29 creatures in the deck to tell you, like, I'm just going hard in the paint with <laughs> yeah, creatures. Just going crazy. Alright. First one here. Ronus the Indominal. He's a good, good staple. Three costs, 5-5 five, five God. And Death Touch Indestructible. And he can only attack her block if you have creature, another creature with four or greater all that all creatures have higher strength and defense four and up there when we get to the spells i'll let you know why but you can pay three another target creature you control gets plus two and gains trample until the turn so good yep dude's just value city yep another value city here wayward sword tooth uh also five five for three he has ascend he can only attack or block if you have the city's blessing, but you get to play additional land this turn, which is all day. Just, just all dude, day. Yeah, I mean, y'all saw me play him with Kevin Chang. Love this dude. Yep. He he make the lands. He does. He he will really get there. All right. Next guy we got is a Lath New Hellion. It's a four four for three with haste. Yep. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two energy. At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice him unless you pay two. Two energy. I really love this card. Ever since it got printed, I don't know. It's a fate. It's a hasty dude on turn three, like four four. Not many people are expecting to take four damage turn three at all. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And and as you can see, two energy. There's no other energy in production. It's only him, and he's there to just get beats on. He turns on Ronus, and he survives during the spells as well. Yeah, and and he has another use too. We'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for playing this guy. Okay. Right. This guy is a swappable guy. I have, right now it's 64 cards. It's not, it's 60. But because I don't know about this guy because I love him. But there's also another creature that can be replace him as well. But go ahead and... Alright. Crocodile of the Crossing. Yes. I love it. Is a 5-4 with haste for 3 mana. 4 mana, I'm sorry. Uh, when he comes into play, put a 1-1, one, one, minus 1, minus 1 counter on target creature you control. Just 1 minus 1, minus 1. So... Yeah, don't care. Don't care. Dude's still big. I, I miss Serac because he's like turn four, you have a dominal or formidable swing. Like, creature dude gets haste. This is kind of what it is. So yeah, I, I love this dude so much because it's just a big crocodile. Like, that's, all, that's all he does. I mean, it's Emperor Crocodile, but with haste. Yeah, let's do it. And like, turn three, Ronus can go down. Who cares? Whatever. He's indestructible. Wayward Swordtooth, he's not going to be swinging for a while. He can go down. And if you play Hellion, on this turn, make him a 3-3. He's going to die any turn. Don't care. <laughs> Cute. Because you're swinging with Crocodile of the Crossing as well. Yeah, you're oh, just I'm swinging, all for it. You're swinging huge. Yeah, that's bringing the heat pretty yeah. hard. Oh, yeah. Honorable mention, swappable, maybe, Golden Guardian. He's a 4-drop, four 4-4 four, four defender, whatever, but you can pay 2. He fights one of your dudes that you control, and he can flip into a, the land. So, like... All your dudes are huge and can kill them without mm. killing your other dudes. Like, you don't even have to worry. Alright. And he flips in the land. He comes, uh, Guardian, Goldforge Garrison. Add two mana of one color to your mana pool, which is really good for a land. Yeah, it's super good. Pay four, tap, create a 4-4 four, four color skull and artifact token. Yeah, no, I like this card a lot, and it's good because too. you can fight, this card can fight your Hellion at the turn, because yeah. your Hellion's going to die regardless. Exactly. So. You swing with the Hellion, get your damage in, and then you're like, cool, Fight Bear. Yeah. Great. Fight Bear. Don't care. Because we'll both trade, we'll die, it doesn't matter. Alright. I don't even know what this <laughs> card is, or why it's here, but the, I need to know about it. This is the number one card I thought of when they were like, yeah, I want to see like Red Green Monsters is in your head. This is it. <laughs> Ramen Up Hydra. Silly card. Not. Well, we'll go through, okay? Cost 4. He has Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. And I've always wanted to make him work. He's a 3-3. Okay. 
Whenever you control a desert, he gets plus one, plus one. And when there's a desert in the graveyard, which we do have those for cycling to ditch him, uh, he gets also a 1-1. One, one. So he's a 5-5 five, five for 4 with Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. So... It, blocking everything yeah, you're and attacking everything. Pretty much blocking everything. It, like, matches up to the gods. Like, you can block a god and maybe, you know, or Scare of God, that's where you go. It can get rid of him. You fight. Cool. Whatever. It gets rid of Glorybringer. He's flying in. You're just like, nope. Get down. Yeah. The Phoenix, like, knock him down too. You don't care because he has reach. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It, it, it's a 5-5 five, five reach all day yeah, long. Yeah, for four. Speaking of, we got Glorybringer. Because I mean, it's a big dude. It's a big dude. And he matches the other type of monster, a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Like, we don't have a dragon. He's just really good. And he has haste. So you're like, yeah. turn three haste, turn four haste, turn five haste. Yeah. Like, you're just going at it. Yeah, as Glorybringer is that 4-4 four, four flying haste for five. And when he attacks, you can exert him to shoot something for dude. four. Yeah. Great. Great. Dude's got value city. And it's weird because we can even call this a slight budget deck. Like, he is not that much anymore. Like, yeah. he's kind of gone down in price. <sighs> and I threw this dude in here because <laughs> I want to use him so bad. I want to use him really much. Atali Primal Storm. Cost six for a 6-6 six, six dinosaur. Elder dinosaur, by the way. Whenever he attacks, you exile each player's top card in their library. And you can play those cards. Just play them without paying their mana costs. I'm, I'm for it. Like, you just... Card is ridiculous. Swing. And I love it. Cool, I get your big dude. I get my big dude. Can we have a good day? Yeah, let's, let's do it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's, that's as good as he gets. Speaking of big dudes, yep. we got Papa Big Dude. Good old Galta. Primal Hunter. You got big dudes. You want to pay this guy for a little. That's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. He's a 12-12 Trampler. Don't care. Yeah, 12 total trample for probably two mana. Yeah. Or at least like four or five. Awesome. Or, yeah. Only oh, because everything's either five or four power. You're going to get this guy out real quick. All right. So, what else is fun with big dudes? Fling! Yeah. We only have one in the main board, but you sacrifice a creature, fling deals damage to equal to target player or creature, but probably definitely a player. So the creature's power. Yeah, so, so that Galt is swinging in for 12. They're like blocked for six. You're like, nah, you can take 12, fling it. Yeah. Thanks. Or you got him down, you only have four mana, you're like, Galta for two, and then fling him, like <laughs> melee to kill him. Yeah. It, I mean, you're just flinging dudes. They're all they're all at least a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Great. Wayward Swordtooth not doing anything, get him out of there. Hellion's about to be sacrificed, get him out of there. Like, it's just fun stuff. And here's the reason why everything is bigger than three, okay? Sweltering Suns. We're having three main board, mm -hmm. one in the sideboard. Because it's just... Everything's so small so early in the game, like nowadays. It just does three damage to every all creatures for three. And it has cycling. Yeah. So if you're going first game, going against control, ditch it immediately. Like, you draw a card to replace it. Yeah. But yeah, three damage is actually quite a bit right now. I didn't see this card earlier, but okay. we got a cartouche of strength. That's right. So the enchantment or a cartouche for three mana, green and two. When it enters the battlefield, you may fight. Yeah, you may have enchanted creature fight another dude. Just and enchanted good. creature gets plus one, plus one and trample. So your dudes are already bigger than all their dudes. Now you get to kill them and trample. That's one thing, problem with big dudes, not most of them have don't have trample. So Ronus has trample now. Swordtooth has trample, Crocodile has trample, and well, and then Glorybringer if you need to, or Tolly Primal Storm now has trample. Like, yeah, I mean, you're it, tired of the little dudes. Who cares? Yeah, it gives trample, and then you can make Ronus give something else trample. All day. It, exactly. Yeah, and it kills a dude. And we get that's good. All right. And then of course, last but not least, Hour of Promise. I, it's being a staple nowadays and like good old ram decks and mm -hmm. of course you need to get to five before you can do this but it gets you two deserts and it protects you it's just good yeah because like, you search for two lands right and put them into play yeah two lands if you control three or more deserts you get two 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 zombies Great. Uh, it sucks that it, i can see why a tune was banned but there's not really any good like ramp 
spell cards, mm -hmm. I think. Like, there's a two drop if you reveal a dinosaur, which we do have, which you can try to replace, but it's only a basic land, which we kind of don't have that many. And there's a three drop that goes search for a basic land as well. It's just yeah. not good. Turn three, you want to be dropping big dudes. Yeah. yeah. So no, no rampant growth that much. That's fair. It's all right. So we want to get late game, get more deserts to hopefully get to help us out. All right. So what lands we got? All right. Uh, we got two forests, two mountains. Like I said, not that many basics. We're, we actually are going to be playing with hostile desert because we have a lot of deserts. If they get killed, slash sacrifice, slash cycle, if they wipe the board, you still have a 3-4 dude. So you pay to exile land from your graveyard, it becomes a 3-4, and you swing. It's the only main land we <laughs> I, have available. I can't even right now, and I love it. And it survives Sweltering Suns, if you have that much mana to do anything. So Yeah, I mean, you, you can yeah. You get there. Yeah. But it looks like we got two of the Rootbound Craig, because yeah. you got to. And you don't have that many forests or mountains, so two. Four, Desert of the Fervor, because Romanot Ruins is banned, so we can't use that. <laughs> so we have to have that to cycle through. And hopefully you're able to get these deserts first to play turn one, turn two. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see. Uh, four deserts of the Indomitable, green cycle desert land. The Haship Oasis, because it comes to play on top, it's a desert, and you can pay three. Uh, destroy a target desert, so anything. A target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. So, if one of your big trample dudes can get there, then they get there. Shelter Thicket, also a cycle land, but red green. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you can be able to get your lands perfectly where turn three, turn four, you're good on just playing dudes. I'm down. I like yeah. it. Alright, we'll go to the sideboard. We yep. got some cool stuff in the board. We got Cardo's favorite. What is it? Blossom in defense. One green dude gets plus two, plus two, and hexproof. You need it. Uh, yeah. It's. The control nowadays is less board white, more single target kill. Then this is will help you out. And then we got Ronus's last stand. Yeah. I haven't seen this card used like ever. Ever. And it's I love it. Not really that good, but you know what it's good against? I think approach. Why? Blue, like blue white approach. So I was looking at the main deck list. They can run baffling ends, but you're like, turn two, I have a 5-4. Hopefully you're playing tap lands, and I can just keep swinging you. Like, the best thing against, like, control is have a big dude turn two. If you can land that, then you're golden. Yeah. You're just like, swing He's five. not wrong. Swing five. Control can't swing deal with five. that easily. And then you win. Like, or they scoop, because they can't do anything about that. So that's a quick approach to the second sun win. I'm down. Yeah. I'm for it. Now, the next one is a braid because of vehicles. Yeah, there's still a thing. Yeah, vehicles still a thing. Torrential Gear Hulk's pretty good to get, kill. So, not too bad. Yeah, we got one more Sweltering Suns because yep. I mean it's good. For the aggro matchup. Alright, what's Blinding Fog for? Now, around here, people love to use Grixis control and they use Hour of Devastation all the time. Blinding Fog prevents that from happening. So, it prevents all damage that would be dealt to creatures this turn. Uh, creatures you control gain hexproof as well, so another hexproof creature, but it prevents our devastation from killing you. Of course you like it because it's got hexproof. Yeah, of course. And you're hexproof. And then lastly, we got a prowling serpapod. Yep. What's the best monster? A cake, a cat snake. Yeah. I mean, or a snack cake. <laughs> a snack cake. <laughs> a snack cake. All right. So it's a three mana four three can be countered, and creature spells you control can be countered. Yeah. So, uh, great. You don't care about its defense because you're playing this against control. So you're just like, swap it for Sweltering Suns. There you go. Yeah, you're you already it. bringing in another dude. Yep. And that dude can't be countered. Yeah. It's awesome. And all your other creatures can't be countered. So you're just like, I play dudes all the time. <laughs> yeah. Seems fantastic. And then you have Blinding Fog to hopefully protect them on, turn, on their turn five. Because they're going to have the board white. At least I like this little deck. It's just lots of little, lots of big dudes. That's that's what I think of red green. Just big dudes. I think it it can. Well, the main dude, of course, is the Hydra that can hopefully go against the other red green decks because mm -hmm. he's big enough where they can't burn him and he can block every creature that they have. Yeah, I I think it'll be great. I think it's just it's got enough of the value of it because every three drop is a five five. Like yeah, why not? 
Or a four drop is a five five. Seems yeah. good. And you have four forwards and you're just three of them. If you don't run Golden Guardian instead of Crocodile, like three of your dudes have haste. Just swinging in really fast, really hard. Yeah, and big dudes with haste are bad. Yeah. For a lot of people. Yeah. And I like it. I like it. It's really fun. I like it. It's I do believe it's pretty cheap. None of the besides the lands are like three bucks and of course Glory Bringer is like two dollars now. So and Galta's like meh. Nah. He's man. So like like I said, I kinda like it. This is my version. Hopefully hopefully the request is happy. Cause I, I saw their deck and I was like, that's pretty cute. I like his tricks, but I wanna like let him have his tricks and this is my this is my version. I like it. I yeah. like it. We'll definitely have to keep us updated how it goes, Cogwell. I, I hope it does well. Well with that, uh, thank you for joining us here at Geek Toby On. Hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at the, with the Cardinals Cauldron. Be sure to like and comment on the video. And to get our latest and greatest, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And to get notifications, there's also a little bell that you can hit. Now, if you want to look at some old deck tech videos, go ahead and click to the right. And if you want to see them in action, click the videos below. Thank you.